violent man's activity is most visible while it lasts, but it is always transitory. Hitler and Mussolini on the one hand and Stalin on the other are able to show the immediate effectiveness of violence, but the effects of Buddha's non-violent action persist and are likely to grow with age. And the more it is practiced, the more effective and inexhaustible it becomes. And ultimately, the whole world stands agape and exclaims, a miracle has happened. All miracles are due to the silent and effective working of invisible force. Nonviolence is the most invisible and the most effective. Gandhi from My Nonviolence. As usual, some of these little gem-like statements really embody an entire philosophy of life and reality. So the underlying principle here is that reality is fundamentally positive. That is implicit in the Sanskrit word sat, meaning that which is truth and also good. So this is a universal principle that you really cannot escape. Unfortunately, often that truth underlying things takes a while to show up. And so, unfortunately, we're not trained to be patient and look for long-term results. We're not trained to connect the dots. We imprison a lot of people, crime gets worse, and very few people can actually say, it is because we treated human beings harshly that they behave harshly. So he's really undercutting or exposing two very damaging false beliefs that are controlling a lot of our policy and behavior. Mm -hmm.